All right, so Ubuntu 25.10, Questing Quokka, and Fedora 43 just dropped almost back to back. And at first glance, they kind of look the same, right? Same GNOME version, Wayland by default, modern kernels, all that good stuff. But once you actually start using them, these two distros are made for very different kinds of Linux users. And choosing the wrong one can make your next six months either super smooth or super frustrating. So in this video, let's quickly break down Ubuntu 25.10 versus Fedora 43 across five things. Desktop experience, performance, software, stability, and uh, who each distro is really for. Okay, so both Ubuntu 25.10 and Fedora 43 ship GNOME 49 on Wayland only. So the workflow feels modern, animations are smooth, and the whole desktop is consistent on both sides. But Fedora stays very close to upstream GNOME. Like what GNOME devs intended, that's what you get. Ubuntu, on the other hand, adds its own flavor, the Ubuntu branding, some tweaks, and new defaults like the Texas terminal and the loop image viewer. So it feels a bit more curated. Ubuntu also fully drops X11 this cycle. It's Wayland plus X Wayland for legacy apps only. Fedora does the same push, but focuses a lot on smooth visuals, including triple buffering to reduce tearing. So basically, if you want pure vanilla GNOME, go Fedora. If you want a polished, slightly opinionated GNOME, go with Ubuntu. Under the hood, Ubuntu 25.10 ships with Linux 6.17. Lots of new hardware support. Intel, AMD, ARM, Snapdragon. Plus file system improvements for BetaFS, F2FS, EROFs, the whole stack. Fedora 43 also ships a super fresh kernel with updated graphics drivers, smoother multi-monitor support, and better hybrid GPU handling, especially if you're on Intel CE or an Optimus-style NVIDIA laptop. Security-wise, Ubuntu is going all in with Rust. Rust-based sudo, Rust coroutiles, TPM-backed full-disk encryption. The whole security story is getting way stronger. Fedora goes in a different direction, modernizing packaging with RPM 6.0 and DNF5, better signatures, new open, PGP formats, and a revamped web UI installer. Super developer friendly, so software. This is where things split hard. Ubuntu sticks to APT and .deb packages, but uh, yeah, it continues pushing snaps for a lot of desktop apps. Plus you get Ubuntu Pro integration and the new Ubuntu Insights CLI for opt-in telemetry. Fedora stays RPM first, but strongly favors Flatpak and Flathub. So you get newer apps, cleaner sandboxing, but maybe a bit more setup if you're brand new to Linux. If you care about third-party proprietary apps, Ubuntu wins. Debs are everywhere, guides are everywhere. Fedora feels more like an upstream playground. Perfect for devs who want newer tool chains and features that eventually land in Red Hat's enterprise world. So here's where you really decide. Ubuntu 25.10 is an interim release with nine months of support and basically a preview of the next LTS. Ideal if you want something stable-ish with new GNOME and kernels without going bleeding edge. Fedora 43 is uh, Fedora, fast moving, experimental and updates land quickly. You might hit the occasional regression. It expects you to know how to fix things. So the simple rule is pick Ubuntu 25.10 if you want a polished desktop, easier proprietary software, strong security defaults and a clean upgrade path into the next LTS. Pick Fedora 43 if you want upstream GNOME, cutting edge packaging with DNF5 and RPM 6.0, flat pack first workflows, and you don't mind living closer to the frontier. All right, so tell me in the comments of Pukinki, are you team Ubuntu 25.10, the questing quaker, or team Fedora 43? And what should I compare next? Gaming? video editing, dev workflows. If this helped you decide, hit like, subscribe, and share it with that one friend who's still stuck choosing their first distro in 2025. Thanks for watching.